I've set up the exact same loss in your case on these three cubes. The standard solution would be to just do all parity. And maybe look at the corner orientation, which will be a T case. And now we have this weird PL case, which looks like an R perm from these two sides, but also a T perm from these two sides. So we do PL parity first. Then J perm. This solution had four different sort of steps, which is obviously bad. It's very tempting to just blame this on that for getting double parity, which adds two steps to an otherwise total last layer. But what if you could solve OL parity and OL together and likewise for PL parity? This would be akin to full EP on the square one. Unfortunately, most OL parity cases currently do not have L's that are better than just doing the standard parity out than whatever normal OL case comes after that. This specific OL case does, however, have an almost two gen out that doesn't suck. And again, we get pure parity. As with all parity, most people solve pure parity with a combination of the opposite it's swap out and the standard pure out in some order. This specific case can be done with an opposite swap and a T pun. Of course, given what I just said, we can do better. This case does have a direct help by Alexander Wombs that seems pretty decent. Fumble on the move there, but never mind. Generating good outs for the full set of all parity and PL parity cases has historically been very difficult, as there is no equivalent of QX power one can use for that purpose. Despite that, quite a handful of people have tried generating good direct outs over the past two decades only for the efforts to be forgotten. The m pump parity out that I just demonstrated has presumably been known for over a decade, but I've never seen anyone else using it. Hopefully this will change now that SpeedQDB has dedicated parity out sections. If you have noticed some of the weird PL parity outs that already you have me to blame, mm, you have me to blame for that. Blame, thank. Blank thing? Whatever.